And if you have locks and you don't wear wraps, I don't know how you do it. Teach me, <laughs> cause I need wraps. Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's a lovely day and thank you for being here. And if this is your first time here, my name is Day. I do hair videos. And if you love hair videos or lock videos, please subscribe and join the lovely family. And if you've been here since I started, you know, thanks for coming back. So today I am gonna talk to you guys about how I wear my hair to work. Starter locks, they get crazy. We know this, they do what they want to do. Sometimes, you know, you feel in the wild look. Sometimes you want to look a little bit more put together. I get it. I'm an educator. I have to dress professionally at work and I cannot always get out the bed looking. Y'all know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean, okay? I love my hair, but sometimes that's just not the vibe I'm going for. So <laughs> when it is early in the morning, and I want to get up and rush out the house and my hair is not looking put together. I wrap my hair. I wrap this all the time. Okay. Like the, the second month, month two was really rough for me. And I wore wraps literally the whole time. Like I had new students. They didn't know if I had hair or not because my hair was like this. My favorite place to get wraps is this cute little um, authentic um, African shop in Annapolis, Maryland. They're amazing. They move around a lot though. So sometimes if you want something a little more stable, you can order online. Um, but people who know about wraps say that if you order online, it is like overpriced. I'm not that deep in the game to know what the correct price is. So I probably have paid a little bit more than I've had to. So do your research if you want to save some money. However, if you just want a quick way to just get some wraps, wrap queens, the wrap life, um, there's some more out there. But they're easy to find um, and I think that they're worth the money, especially if you have locks because you're going to be wrapping your hair. And even if you don't have locks, you have braids, or you just have natural hair in general. And there are just some days that you just feel like your hair is not cooperating with you. Put on a wrap and you're together. When I first wore a lock to work, I got a new position this year and I'm at a new location. I was very timid. I was like, wow, like... You know, I don't know if people are going to like look at me some type of way. You know, some people don't always accept wraps to be um, a professional thing. I think that wraps can look very professional. I think sometimes that wraps are more formal looking than your natural hair, your regular hair. Um, but everybody does not have that mindset. So I was a little bit concerned. But after the first day and I got a couple compliments and nobody said anything to me, I was like, okay, well, <laughs> this is about to be me. Like, I know how I'm going to get through my first couple stages a lot saves me from wanting to put product in my hair it saves me from wanting to put on edge control and lay you know the front of my hair and retwist my hair it gets me from retwist to retwist so wraps up for me all right so i'm going to take you guys to the restroom um with me so i can show you how i put my wrap on i moisturize my hair i like to take um these little black caps I honestly don't even know what this is. Like, I stole this from my husband. Um, so, yeah, I used that. And I realized that when I started using these, my wrap was more secure. And I feel like it was like a protective barrier between um, the scarf and my hair. So, this isn't like fancy material or anything. It's made out of cotton, I think. But it still helps hold my locks down. And you can see if your hair is moisturized, like, how this will probably be be beneficial for your hair so yeah put that on tuck my hair in all right then i'm going to take a t-shirt usually one that i don't wear anymore like this black acdc t-shirt this t-shirt on top um and it's pretty secure and if you want to even be like even more safe like if you're uncomfortable you can take some pins and like stick it through the uh, the cap and pin the shirt down. You know, I don't. I typically don't do this, but some days, if I feel like you know, I got a t-shirt that's not as secure, I'll do that. And I'm gonna take my scarf, lay it over my hair, and pull the sides up like this. Okay, and I pull it as close to the front as I can, like this. 
I'm gonna work one side over the other. And I'm gonna leave one side down and forget about it for a second. Then I'm gonna try to wrap this and try to cover that black up. Even if not though, it's, it's just, you know, it's easy to hide because it's black. Um, and I twist this around my hand. Then bring it back around the top of my hair like this. And then I focus on the other side, twist it in the opposite direction. And I bring it the other way, like this, and tuck it under. And there you go. So when I am at work, I like to take it, um, the sides of the scarf, and just pull it over the top of my ears. I don't know why, guys. Like, if I'm out at the mall or something, I'll wear it behind my ears. But if I'm at work, I always pull it over top of my ears. It's just my thing. To me, this looks like more clean. So this is it, look. I can do this in the car. Like, I'm quick with it. It takes me like a couple seconds. And to me, like if I don't feel, you know, completely together, this does it for me. Like even without makeup. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you next time in my next video. See ya.